people are getting their data privacy policy wrong because they don't connect to the data itself. They concentrate on the capture of information, but they don't orchestrate it. So they don't connect to the data behind it. It's mainly causing a disconnect in terms of trust. So the ability to be able to orchestrate and know where that information went, the transparency you can give your customer, is only going to build that, that trust with your consumer. They don't do that today. We did a recent survey across the retail industry. Uh, we surveyed the top 100 retailers and 70% were either not responding or not able to give us information related to the information they hold about us, which is in breach of GDPR. And they're sticking their heads in the sand and not actually acknowledging this as a problem. So great that you capture that information. It takes you 30 seconds to give it, it takes you 30 days to find out where it is. Why? As consumers are getting more wary about where their data is, they're becoming more educated. Part of our process, part of what we do at Ketch is actually educating the market. You know, you saw the recent advert from Apple where they did that auction uh, advert, which showed where people were kind of distilling their information, not knowing where it is, people are bidding on their information, where's my data? Like opening, I think on the advert itself, they opened someone's um, like cosmetic cupboard and it was like, why are, you, why are you giving me that information? People are bidding on that, people are selling that information and you don't know it and they're making money out of it. Like these companies are making billions, billions of dollars out of your business, out of your data. You don't know where it is, they don't know where it is. Half the time people have access to it they shouldn't have. You need to control that. So in order to, to get ahead of the game, in order to be you know, a thought leader in this space, you need to start orchestrating that process. Find out where your data is, do a data discovery process, catalog it, understand it, and then be able to be transparent with your consumer. I've got this information about you, you gave me that three years ago. Should I still have that? Do you want me to do something with it? Right, like they're storing information, they're using information that's invariably out of date a lot of the time, right? Like how many calls have you had with old addresses or old phone numbers? I have it all the time. Why have you got that information? Where did it come from? I don't even remember giving it to you, right? People, if brands could be more uh, proactive in terms of how they handle information, how they use data, I think they build much more respect with the relationship they build with their consumer. We are the orchestration engine. So we're able to connect all of those data repositories, use our infrastructure to be able to understand where the information is, what you're doing with it, make it legislative compliance, which is one part of what you should do as a, just a fiduciary duty, but also build relationships with customers by knowing how you have that information, what you're doing with it. People are becoming much more uh, aware of data as a currency, and starting to understand this value. If I give you my information, what's in it for me? And 83% of the people we surveyed are willing to give you that information, but then they caveat it with 60% say, where did it go, right? 57% say, how long are you keeping it for? Becoming more relevant in terms of the dialogue of the consumer and understanding what they do. Big Data London has been a great event for us. Uh, we, we, we're really just getting our name and brand out there uh, in terms of who we are and what we do. Uh, this has been a great stand for us to, to kind of understand like wh what are people talking about? This is a data problem. We started off when we, uh, when we were talking about um, getting into this space, we were talking to the legal fraternity. It's a data problem. And so Big Data London, right place, right time.